Hello YouTube. So this is the M1 MacBook Air that was launched way back in 2020. So is it relevant in this 2024? So can it handle macOS Sequoia beta with Apple intelligence? So let's find out. So before that, let's see how to install this beta. So first you'll have to go into the uh, settings and you have the software update section. So there you need to select the macOS Sequoia 15.1 developer beta and once you select that so it's fine so it's uh, it's checking for updates now and now the update appears and once you click on update now and you can give agree and let me key in my passcode okay and it starts downloading the macOS Sequoia 15.1 beta and boom we have the beta and once you go in back into settings and Apple intelligence and Siri so you get this option and so initially uh, first you need to change the language settings so if you are outside the united states you'll have to do this and you'll have to change the language from uh, your uh, set language to english united states and also you can change the voice if you like the which voice which you like and once you do that again go back into general and then into language and region so select your region from india to united states so these two settings will have to change in order to get this apple intelligence and i changed this to us english okay and we'll have to restart our system so that all the region and language settings get applied and once after the restart so again go back into apple intelligence and siri and once you are there you get this apple intelligence and it's preparing right now and so let's wait for a couple of minutes so it should be back and boom it's back now so now you get the option to turn on apple intelligence and you get this uh, screen here so you get all the features which you are getting with apple intelligence and click on continue and the new siri again this is just the new siri ui so click on continue and also you can type to siri and also we can speak to siri as usual so these two things are available and this is just the ui thing which they updated and the artificial intelligence or apple intelligence siri is yet to come so now it's enabled and apple intelligence is enabled right now and this is the new siri ui and the cool new feature is the new writing tools that we get so once you go into the notes application so let me go into notes and if you have some paragraph like this i can uh, highlight this and i get this apple intelligence icon on the left and i can do anything from here i can make it look friendly or professional so this message now it turns into a professional uh, birthday wish and you can do all this cool stuff with apple intelligence and even a m1 macbook air so it is the right starting point for you to explore this apple intelligence features and this is also available in the messages application so i can go into the message and i can highlight them and also uh, so where is that uh, yeah like i can uh, right click on that and there you have the writing tools and i can even proofread the thing so i uh, deliberately given there there and now it's converted into they are so that's it pretty simple and useful in my and obviously as uh, as on every update so we get some new cool wallpaper so this uh, takes back to the uh, retro theme of the macintosh era and it's pretty cool so there are multiple options with that and now we can change the background of your video call so if you are having zoom or uh, like any video call application so you can uh, put a permanent background right through the settings app and it will be there permanently and the last feature I'm going to talk about is everyone's favorite that's iPhone mirroring. So that is out with the macOS Sequoia, uh, the normal 15.0 beta itself. So wherein you can mirror your iPhone. So if it is in the same Wi-Fi network, so you can use your iPhone just like you use, uh, I mean like uh, you physically use your device. So you can access all the applications and do whatever you like. And I guess uh, this is enough with the features. So now we can go through how the M1 MacBook Air performs in 2024 with the latest macOS update. So shall we? 
the performance is really top notch and I just have the 8 gigabyte version here. So if you had the 16 gigabyte version, there would have been a uh, uh, lot more headroom over there. But yeah, this is still good. So even in 2024, it's really good. I know it's anticlimax, but wait for the other real world performance test coming up next. Now, if you see the swap memory usage of this device, so it's at zero gigabytes. So you can see, but the RAM has been utilized up to 81 percentage and I'm running just few applications. And now this typically looks like my daily routine. So I use uh, Chrome and even the Edge browser. So most people who use the MacBook Air, they use the browsers for web browsing and all those tasks. And with that, it's taking around like uh, 5 gigabytes of uh, swap memory and again the memory usage is almost the same and the processor load it remains flat uh, throughout so if you are not doing any demanding applications like word processing or like uh, a regular day-to-day -day of office use or even for coding so this is a perfect machine so still the m1 macbook air it can handle multiple applications at once and there is no lag or whatsoever and if you want to see some synthetic benchmark score, so here it is. So this is for the MacBook Air M1 with 8 gigabytes of RAM and it's really good. And if you compare it with the previous versions of the uh, Mac OS, so it's right around there. So it's not slowed down as much and uh, the performance is really good even with the latest Mac OS Sequoia, uh, even though if it is in beta, the performance is really good. So finally to the conclusion, so if you have M1 MacBook Air, I would say don't upgrade right now even to the M3. So only reason you would want to upgrade is if you have the 8 gigabyte version and if that's a bottleneck. So but if you want to upgrade, really upgrade to the M4 MacBook Air as with as we saw with the M4 iPad the performance is going to be really good. So it's up to 25% with the iPad itself. And another advantage that we are going to get with the M4 MacBooks or the eight gigabyte version is going to be phased out. And in place, we'll be getting the 12 gigabytes as a standard RAM configuration. Along with that, the neural engine of the M4 chip has been improved a lot and that should offer a good headroom with the Apple intelligence. I mean, like this is the first iteration. So as it keeps on increasing the uh, LLM model size and all those things and with the extra RAM. So this uh, should be a good upgrade with the M4 chip. So that's all I had in this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. And as always, stay safe and peace.